I've recently uh, posted on my uh, my YouTube on the power wheels where you shouldn't be running 24 volts with your uh, stock 550 motors, and uh, this is a this is kind of like a little posting on Hobby Masters on the internet saying that you should only use 24 volts on a uh, 775 motor instead of a 550 motor that is stock on your power wheels. I also uh, wrote an email to Toys uh, ML um, about the speed of their cars and stuff, what they do for the speed. And what they do is uh, they use uh, different motors and uh, uh, pinion gear with more teeth. And if you uh, look right there, it says. Uh, you got an indicator on the side of your uh, case, gearbox case, and it says what kind of uh, pinion gears you can use. So anyway, they go on to say that 17T gives gives the most uh, uh, speed and uh, also the best gear mesh. So anyway, that was the answer one of my uh, my questions that I had with it and. Right here it states the size of your motor and what it should be used. Right here it says only 775 motors are recommended 24 volt use. And it even states what turns, what it gives you all the information you need on to know on your on your motors as far as, far as size and opinion gears. So anyway, that's how to select a motor upgrade for your ride on toys. And anyway, to prove what kind what that what they're saying is true, I'm turning over this, and you'll see. Oops, I'm gonna get it over. So we can get it out there where you can read it. Right there. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 21, 22, 23, 18, 19, 20. That side of the case. So this is the case that don't have the motor facing the wheel. This is the case itself. It's a seven hour case. Okay. I stated that if you're going to use a 775 motor, this is the first gear, second, third, and the main gear that goes out. This is the one that I had in a video that teeth are stripped. If you do decide to go to 24 volts, make sure that you put a still first gear in it. Now another thing that I have found out, all these gearboxes stay the same. The gearing here is the same on all the upgrades. The only thing that changes to make more speed is the voltage, the motor type, if it's 550 and it's beefed up, or if it's a 775. And like it stated on the on the on the piece of papers I got there. Size of the pinion gear also matters too. The more teeth on that pinion gear, the faster it's going to turn this little uh, gear right there. So anyway, I hope that uh, explains why I state that you can only run 18 volts on a, uh, on a stock motor. And uh, and like I said, uh, this uh, power wheel I got right here is a little dune racer. It is done fine running 18 bolts on a stock motor. The other one I have over here, well, I beefed it up to an upgraded motor from ML Toys. It runs great. And uh, I bought, uh, well, and here's the heat sinks I use. I got them on, ho on a Hobby King uh, internet size site, and I got four for like $18. Uh, I think you gotta on you know, those. Make sure they have these in stock. It'll cost you more money for shipping and handling if they get them overseas. 
And uh, what else? Well, that's about it for now. Well, I hope this helps you out a little bit. Just remember, when you buy upgraded motors and gearboxes, the gearboxes are going to be the same. The seven R's have all these heavy duty gears. And uh, it doesn't matter if you put new ones in it or not. Here's a new one I got. I ran it three races with my with, uh, new upgrade motors and it stripped this uh, main gear with the output here. On the uh, upgraded, on the upgraded uh, 550 motor. But did the same thing on the 18 volts on the stock motor. That has to be a weak link in the, in the gearbox itself. But I hear when you go to the 775, from the heat from the motor and the speed and taking off, it'll tear this gear up here. Make sure you get a still one. And uh, hey, have fun. And I know that the reason I bring this about is a lot of people can't afford when they buy a brand new toy for the kid. To have somebody tell you run 24 volts in it then you burn up the motors and then you can't afford it the kid goes without the power well so take care and and watch out what you're uh, trying to do and one thing you ought to remember is below these videos they have a publishing uh, comment and they have comments below it make sure on every site that you if you have a question you go down there and read them and you'll see problems people have and they haven't had. On all of mine, I try to give you all the information below that I find in the future. Okay. Have fun. Bye.